how do we know that we have a guardian angel? What do guardian angels do? That's a really good question. So we know that there are guardian angels because we could go back into the Old Testament. The word in Hebrew, cherub, uh, which we would often say cherub, um, refers to a guardian. The word cherub means guardian. And so we know in the Old Testament that there are guardian angels. But then the question becomes, how do we know that we have a guardian angel? How do we know that each person has a guardian angel? And I have no greater authority than Christ himself. Um, in a passage when he was talking about the, the profoundness of sin and how, sin, how bad sin is, um, he talks about uh, um, it would be better for one uh, to have a millstone tied around their neck and thrown into the sea to cause one of these little ones to sin for their angels stand before the face of God. And so Christ himself says that these little ones, usually referring to Christians in general, you could refer to children, but usually it refers to Christians in general when Christ calls us the little ones, um, have a guardian angel. And so because of that, the church has said, since the beginning, each person has a guardian angel. Now, what does a guardian angel do? Well, it's kind of in the name. A guardian angel is supposed to guard a person, not simply from physical harm, but primarily from spiritual harm. And I think this is a really important thing to keep in mind. When we talk about the spiritual life, we're not just talking about my personal effort and this moment. There's always going to be a sort of community, whether it be a community of a family, a community of a business partnership, um, a community of a school, a community of the church. Humans are not fundamentally individuals. They are united with those around them. And so this is a great moment in which we remember that God doesn't bid us to do this thing alone, that he gives us angels to be with us. He gives us the saints to be with us. He gives us the rest of our brothers and sisters in the church, the rest of our brothers and sisters in the world, that we that this spiritual life is not a single player game, so to speak, that we are all united. And so the guardian angel exists to help us stave off sin, to help us grow in the spiritual life. Um, and ultimately, the guardian angel's job is to get to heaven, to get you to heaven. So if you want your guardian angel to smile, do the corporal works of mercy, do the spiritual works of mercy, pray for your enemies. Um, you want your spiritual angel to do a face palm, do some sort of sin, because his job is to try to get you into union.